Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. South Korea. South Korea or Korea, officially the Republic of Korea, is a sovereign state in East Asia, constituting the southern part of the Korean Peninsula. Officially, its territory consists of the whole Korean Peninsula and its adjacent islands, which are largely mountainous. South Koreans lead a distinctive urban lifestyle, as half of them live in high-rises concentrated in the Seoul capital area with 25 million residents. The capital Seoul is the world's sixth leading global city, with the fifth largest economy and is the seventh most sustainable city in the world. The earliest Neolithic Korean pottery dates to 8000 BC, with three kingdoms flourishing in the first century BC. The name Korea is derived from one of them. Gogyo, also known as Korea, which was one of the great powers in East Asia during its time, ruling most of the Korean Peninsula, Manchuria, and some parts of the Russian Far East, and Inner Mongolia under Gwangato the Great. Since the unification of the Korean kingdoms into later Silla and Bali in the 7th century, Korea enjoyed over a millennium of relative tranquility and long-lasting dynasties. Koreans developed improved versions many advanced innovations such as the metal movable type printing press in 1377 AD, which was developed based on the previous Han Chinese porcelain movable type printing press used to print and publish the Jikji, the world's oldest extant movable metal type printed paper book using the 8,000-year-old traditional ancient Chinese writing system. Under Sejong the Great in the 15th century, Koreans had one of the highest living standards in the world along with the Han Chinese and Japanese. Additionally, in 1443 Hangul was invented by the Korean King Sejong the Great as an easier alternative to the complex and difficult to learn ancient Chinese writing system which was usually reserved for elite academic scholars preparing for the imperial examinations of China. Hangul enabled anyone in the general Korean population to easily learn to read and write, and transfer written information rather than spending years learning complicated ancient Chinese. Its rich and vibrant culture left 19 UNESCO intangible cultural heritages of humanity the third largest in the world, along with 12 World Heritage Sites. Annexed into Imperial Japan in 1910, Korea was divided after its surrender in 1945. But a North Korean invasion led to the Korean War. Peace has since mostly continued, with the two agreeing to work peacefully for reunification and the South solidifying peace as a regional power with the world's 10th largest defense budget. South Korea, along with Taiwan, Singapore, and Hong Kong is one of the four high-tech industrialized developed countries often referred to as the four Asian economic dragons. The South Korean economy soared at an annual average of 10% for over 30 years in a period of rapid transformation called the Miracle on the Han River. A long legacy of openness and focus on innovation made it successful. Today, it is the world's seventh-largest advanced economy and fifth-largest exporter, with the G20's largest budget surplus and highest credit rating of any country in East Asia. It has free trade agreements with 75% of the world economy and is the only G20 nation trading freely with China, the US and the EU simultaneously. Since 1988, its constitution guarantees a liberal democracy with high government transparency and many fundamental rights such as universal health care, high personal freedoms led to the rise of a globally influential pop culture such as K-pop and K-drama. A phenomenon called the Korean Wave, known for its distinctive fashionable and trendy style. Home of the UN Green Climate Fund and GGGI, South Korea is a leader in low-carbon green growth. 
committed to helping developing countries as a major DAC and Paris Club contributor. It is the world's third least ignorant country in the Index of Ignorance, ranking eighth highest for peaceful tolerance and inclusion of minorities on the Fragile States Index. South Korea is a technologically advanced developed country driven by a highly educated and skilled workforce, having the world's eighth highest median household income, the highest in Asia. Globally, it ranks highly in personal safety, job security, ease of doing business and healthcare quality, with the world's third highest health adjusted life expectancy and fourth most efficient healthcare system. It is the world's largest spender on R&D per GDP, leading the OECD in graduates in science and engineering, and ranking third in the Youth Wellbeing Index. Home of Samsung, LG and Hyundai Kia, South Korea was named the world's most innovative country for four consecutive years. Since 2014 in the Bloomberg Innovation Index, ranking first in business R&D intensity, manufacturing value added, patents filed per GDP, second in higher education efficiency, and fourth in high-tech density and researcher concentration. In 2005, it became the world's first country to fully transition to high-speed internet and today it has the world's fastest internet speed and highest smartphone ownership, ranking first in ICT development, e-government and 4G LTE coverage. Etymology The name Korea derives from the name Goryeo. The name Goryeo itself was first used by the ancient kingdom of Goguryeo in the 5th century as a shortened form of its name. The 10th century kingdom of Goryeo succeeded Goguryeo, and thus inherited its name, which was pronounced by visiting Persian merchants as Korea. The modern spelling of Korea first appeared in the late 17th century in the travel writings of the Dutch East India Company's Hendrik Hamel. Despite the coexistence of the speakings Korea and Korea in 19th century publications, some Koreans believe that Imperial Japan, around the time of the Japanese occupation, intentionally standardized the spelling on Korea, making Japan appear first alphabetically, after Goryeo was replaced by Joseon in 1392. Joseon became the official name for the entire territory, though it was not universally accepted. The new official name has its origin in the ancient country of Gojoseon. In 1897, the Joseon dynasty changed the official name of the country from Joseon to Dian Jeguk. The name Dian, which means Great Han, literally, derives from Samhan. However, the name Joseon was still widely used by Koreans to refer to their country, though it was no longer the official name. Under Japanese rule, the two names Han and Joseon coexisted. There were several groups who fought for independence, the most notable being the Provisional Government of the Republic of Korea. Following the surrender of Japan, in 1945, the Republic of Korea was adopted as the legal name for the new country. Since the government only controlled the southern part of the Korean peninsula, the informal term South Korea was coined, becoming increasingly common in the Western world. While South Koreans use Han to refer to the entire country, North Koreans and Koreans in China use the term Joseon as the name of the country. Ancient Korea The history of Korea begins with the founding of Joseon in 2333 BC by Dangun, according to Korea's foundation mythology. Gojoseon expanded until it controlled the northern Korean peninsula and parts of Manchuria. Gija Joseon was purportedly founded in the 12th century BC, but its existence and role have been controversial in the modern era. In 108 BC, the Han dynasty defeated Wiman Joseon 
and installed four commanderies in the northern Korean peninsula. Three of the commanderies fell, or retreated westward within a few decades, but the Leling commandery remained as a center of cultural and economic exchange with successive Chinese dynasties for four centuries, until it was conquered by Gogyoyo in 313. Three Kingdoms of Korea During the period known as the Proto-Three Kingdoms of Korea, the states of Baeo, Okyeo, Dongye, and Samhan occupied the Korean peninsula and southern Manchuria. From them, Gogyoyo, Bakya, and Silla emerged to control the peninsula as the three kingdoms of Korea. Gogyoyo, the largest and most powerful among them, was a highly militaristic state and competed with various Chinese dynasties during its 700 years of history. Gogyoyo experienced a golden age under Gwangato the Great and his son Jiangsu, who both subdued Bakya and Silla during their times achieving a brief unification of the three kingdoms of Korea, and becoming the most dominant power on the Korean peninsula. In addition to contesting for control of the Korean peninsula, Gogyoyo had many military conflicts with various Chinese dynasties, most notably the gogyoyo Su War, in which Gogyoyo defeated a huge force said to number over a million men. Bakya was a great maritime power, its nautical skill, which made it the finisher of East Asia, was instrumental in the dissemination of Buddhism throughout East Asia and continental culture. To Japan, Bakya was once a great military power on the Korean peninsula, especially during the time of Jian Chogo, but was critically defeated by Gwangato the Great and declined. Silla was the smallest and weakest of the three, but it used cunning diplomatic means to make opportunistic pacts and alliances with the more powerful Korean kingdoms, and eventually Tang China, to its great advantage. The unification of the three kingdoms by Silla in 676 led to the North-South States period, in which much of the Korean peninsula was controlled by later Silla. While Bali controlled the northern parts of Gogyoyo, Bali was founded by a Gogyoyo general and formed as a successor state to Gogyoyo. During its height, Bali controlled most of Manchuria and parts of the Russian Far East and was called the prosperous country in the east. Later, Silla was a golden age of art and culture, as evidenced by the Huangyongzhe, Sokgurum, and Emil Bell. Relationships between Korea and China remained relatively peaceful during this time. Later Silla carried on the maritime prowess of Bakya, which acted like the finisher of medieval East Asia, and during the 8th and 9th centuries dominated the seas of East Asia and the trade between China, Korea and Japan, most notably during the time of Jiang Bogo. In addition, Silla people made overseas communities in China on the Shandong Peninsula and the mouth of the Yangtze River. Later Silla was a prosperous and wealthy country, and its metropolitan capital of Jiangju was the fourth largest city in the world. Buddhism flourished during this time, and many Korean Buddhists gained great fame among Chinese Buddhists and contributed to Chinese Buddhism, including Wonchuk, Wonhyo, Yu Sang, Ma Sang, and Kim Gyogak, a Silla prince whose influence made Mount Jiuhua one of the four sacred mountains of Chinese Buddhism. However, later Silla weakened under internal strife and the revival of Bakya and Gogyoyo, which led to the later Three Kingdoms period in the late 9th century. Unified Dynasties In 936, the later three kingdoms were united by Wang Jian, a descendant of Gogyoyo nobility, who established Goryeo as the successor state of Gogyoyo. Bali had fallen to the Khitan Empire in 926, and a decade later the last crown prince of Bali fled south 
to Goryeo, where he was warmly welcomed and included into the ruling family by Wang Jian, thus unifying the two successor nations of Goguryeo. Like Silla, Goryeo was a highly cultural state, and invented the metal movable type printing press. After defeating the Khitan Empire, which was the most powerful empire of its time, in the goryeo khitan War, Goryeo experienced a golden age that lasted a century, during which the Tripitaka Koreana was completed and there were great developments in printing and publishing, promoting learning and dispersing knowledge on philosophy, literature, religion, and science. By 1100, there were 12 universities that produced famous scholars and scientists. However, the Mongol invasions in the 13th century greatly weakened the kingdom. Goryeo was never conquered by the Mongols, but exhausted after three decades of fighting. The Korean court sent its crown prince to the Yuan capital to swear allegiance to Kublai Khan, who accepted and married one of his daughters to the Korean crown prince. Henceforth, Goryeo continued to rule Korea, though as a tributary ally to the Mongols for the next 86 years. During this period, the two nations became intertwined as all subsequent Korean kings married Mongol princesses, and the last empress of the Yuan dynasty was a Korean princess. In the mid-14th century, Goryeo drove out the Mongols to regain its northern territories, briefly conquered Liaoyang and defeated invasions by the Red Turbans. However, in 1392, General Yi Xiong Yi, who had been ordered to attack China, turned his army around and staged a coup. Yi Xiong Yi declared the new name of Korea as Hoseon, in reference to Gojoseon, and moved the capital to Hanseong. The first 200 years of the Hoseon dynasty were marked by peace and saw great advancements in science and education, as well as the creation of Hangul by Sejong the Great to promote literacy among the common people. The prevailing ideology of the time was Neo-Confucianism, which was epitomized by the Sion B class, nobles who passed up positions of wealth and power to lead lives of study and integrity. Between 1592 and 1598, Toyotomi Hideyoshi launched invasions of Korea, but his advance was halted by Korean forces with assistance from righteous army militias formed by Korean civilians and Ming Dynasty Chinese troops. Through a series of successful battles of attrition, the Japanese forces were eventually forced to withdraw, and relations between all parties became normalized. However, the Mancus took advantage of Joseon's war-weakened state and invaded in 1627 and 1637, and then went on to conquer the destabilized Ming dynasty. After normalizing relations with the new Qing dynasty, Joseon experienced a nearly 200-year period of peace. Kings Young Ho and Zheng Ho particularly led a new renaissance of the Joseon dynasty during the 18th century. In the 19th century, the royal in law families gained control of the government, leading to mass corruption and weakening of the state, and severe poverty and peasant rebellions throughout the country. Furthermore, the Joseon government adopted a strict isolationist policy earning the nickname, the Hermit Kingdom, but ultimately failed to protect itself against imperialism and was forced to open its borders. After the First Sino-Japanese War and the Russo-Japanese War, Korea was occupied by Japan. At the end of World War II, the Japanese surrendered to Soviet and U.S forces who occupied the northern and southern halves of Korea, respectively. Modern history Despite the initial plan of a unified Korea in the 1943 Cairo Declaration, escalating Cold War antagonism between the Soviet Union and the United States eventually led 
to the establishment of separate governments, each with its own ideology, leading to the division of Korea into two political entities in 1948, North Korea and South Korea. In the South, Syngman Rhee, an opponent of communism, who had been backed and appointed by the United States as head of the provisional government, won the first presidential elections of the newly declared Republic of Korea in May. In the North, a former anti-Japanese guerrilla and communist activist, Kim Il-sung was appointed premier of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea in September. In October the Soviet Union declared Kim Il-sung's government as sovereign over both parts. The UN declared Rhee's government as a lawful government having effective control and jurisdiction over that part of Korea where the UN Temporary Commission on Korea was able to observe and consult and the government, based on elections which was observed by the Temporary Commission, in addition to a statement that, this is the only such government in Korea. Both leaders began an authoritarian repression of their political opponents inside their region, seeking for a unification of Korea under their control, while South Korea's request for military support was denied by the United States, North Korea's military was heavily reinforced by the Soviet Union. On June 25, 1950, North Korea invaded South Korea, sparking the Korean War. The Cold War's first major conflict, which continued until 1953. At the time, the Soviet Union had boycotted the United Nations, thus forfeiting their veto rights. This allowed the UN to intervene in a civil war, when it became apparent that the superior North Korean forces would unify the entire country. The Soviet Union and China backed North Korea, with the later participation of millions of Chinese troops, after an ebb and flow that saw both sides almost pushed to the brink of extinction, and massive losses among Korean civilians in both the North and the South. The war eventually reached a stalemate. The 1953 armistice, never signed by South Korea, split the peninsula along the demilitarized zone near the original demarcation line. No peace treaty was ever signed, resulting in the two countries remaining technically at war. Over 1.2 million people died during the Korean War. In 1960, a student uprising led to the resignation of the autocratic, corrupt President Syngman Rhee. A period of political instability followed, broke on by General Park Chung-hee's May 16th coup against the weak and ineffectual government the next year. Park took over as president until his assassination in 1979. Overseeing rapid export-led economic growth as well as implementing political repression, Park was heavily criticized as a ruthless military dictator, who in 1972 extended his rule by creating a new constitution, which gave the president sweeping powers and permitted him to run for an unlimited number of six-year terms. However, the Korean economy developed significantly during Park's tenure and the government developed the nationwide expressway system, the Seoul subway system, and laid the foundation for economic development. During his 17-year tenure, the years after Park's assassination were marked again by political turmoil, as the previously suppressed opposition leaders all campaigned to run for president in the sudden political void. In 1979 there came the coup d'acute TAT of December 12 led by General Chun Du Hwan. Following the coup d'acute TAT, Chan Du Hwan planned to rise to power through several measures. On May 17, Chan Du Hwan forced the cabinet to expand martial law to the whole nation, which had previously not applied to the island of Jejudo. The expanded martial law closed universities, banned political activities, and further curtailed the press. 
Chun's assumption of the presidency in the events of May 17 triggered nationwide protests demanding democracy, in particular in the city of Guangzhou, to which Chun sent special forces to violently suppress the Guangzhou democratization movement. Chan subsequently created the National Defense Emergency Policy Committee and took the presidency according to his political plan. Chun and his government held South Korea under a despotic rule until 1987, when a Seoul National University student, Park Jong Chul, was tortured to death. On the Catholic Priests Association for Justice revealed the incident igniting the June democracy movement around the country. Eventually, Chun's party, the Democratic Justice Party, and its leader, Roh Tae-woo, announced the 6.29 declaration, which included the direct election of the president. Roh went on to win the election by a narrow margin against the two main opposition leaders, Kim Dae-young and Kim Young-sam. In 1988, Seoul hosted the 1988 Summer Olympics. It became a member of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development in 1996. It was adversely affected by the 1997 Asian financial crisis. However, the country recovered and continued its economic growth, albeit at a slower pace. In June 2000, as part of President Kim Dae-jung's sunshine policy of engagement, a North-South summit took place in Pyongyang, the capital of North Korea. Later that year, Kim received the Nobel Peace Prize for his work for democracy and human rights in South Korea and in East Asia in general, and for peace and reconciliation with North Korea in particular. However, because of discontent among the population for fruitless approaches to the North under the previous administrations and, amid North Korean provocations, a conservative government was elected in 2007 led by President Lee Myung-bak. Former mayor of Seoul, more recently, Park Jin-hai won the South Korean presidential election. 2012. Meanwhile, South Korea and Japan jointly co-hosted the 2002 FIFA World Cup. However, South Korean and Japanese relations later soured because of conflicting claims of sovereignty over the Liang Court Rocks in what became known as the Liang Court Rocks dispute. In 2016, President Park Jin Hai's administration was accused of corruption, bribery, and influence peddling for the involvement of Choi Soon Sil in state affairs. Soon Sil was officially charged in November 2016. Following the scandal, there has been a series of massive demonstrations that started in the first week of November 2016. On December 9, the National Assembly voted to impeach Park, suspending her from office. As a result, Prime Minister Hwang Kyo-an became the acting president. On March 10, 2017, the Constitutional Court of Korea voted to remove President Park from office immediately, ending her tenure as president. Geography South Korea occupies the southern portion of the Korean Peninsula, which extends some from the Asian mainland. This mountainous peninsula is flanked by the Yellow Sea to the west and the Sea of Japan to the east. Its southern tip lies on the Korea Strait and the East China Sea. The country, including all its islands, lies between latitudes 33 degrees and 39 degrees north, and longitudes 124 degrees and 130 degrees east. Its total area is. South Korea can be divided into four general regions, an eastern region of high mountain ranges and narrow coastal plains, a western region of broad coastal plains, river basins, and rolling hills, a southwestern region of mountains and valleys and a southeastern region dominated by the broad basin of the Nakedong River. 
South Korea's terrain is mostly mountainous, most of which is not arable. Lowlands, located primarily in the west and southeast, make up only 30% of the total land area. About 3,000 islands, mostly small and uninhabited, lie off the western and southern coasts of South Korea. Jeju-do is about off the southern coast of South Korea. It is the country's largest island, with an area of Jeju is also the site of South Korea's highest point, Halasan, an extinct volcano. Reaches above sea level. The easternmost islands of South Korea include Dulungdu and Liangkort rocks, while Murado and Sokodra rock are the southernmost islands of South Korea. South Korea has 20 national parks and popular nature places like the Boseong Tea Fields. Sunshine Bay Ecological Park, and the first national park of Jirizan. Climate South Korea tends to have a humid continental climate and a humid subtropical climate, and is affected by the East Asian monsoon, with precipitation heavier in summer. During a short rainy season called Jangma, which begins end of June through the end of July, Winters can be extremely cold, with the minimum temperature dropping below in the inland region of the country, in Seoul. The average January temperature ranges, and the average August temperature ranges. Winter temperatures are higher along the southern coast, and considerably lower in the mountainous interior. Summer can be uncomfortably hot and humid, with temperatures exceeding in most parts of the country. South Korea has four distinct seasons – spring, summer, autumn and winter. Spring usually lasts from late March to early May, summer from mid-May to early September, autumn from mid-September to early November, and winter from mid-November to mid-March. Rainfall is concentrated in the summer months of June through September. The southern coast is subject to late summer typhoons that bring strong winds, heavy rains, and sometime floods. The average annual precipitation varies from in Seoul to in Busan. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.